Hello everyone and welcome to this video on algorithm analysis. So in this video, we're going to solve the following recurrence relation in terms of n by using the iteration technique. Now I have the recurrence relation in the blue rectangle here, and it states that t of n is equal to 2 times t of n divided by 2 plus 1. And then below it is the base case that states that if n is equal to 1, then t is equal to 1. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started solving this equation. So the first thing that I'm going to do is create a column called K, which will hold the number of iterations. And we're going to start off at iteration number one. And then we're going to have another column. I'm just going to call it T of N, and it will contain our equation T of N. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is rewrite the equation T of N. So T of N is equal to 2 times T of N divided by 2 plus 1. Okay? Now, for the second iteration, we need to figure out, well, what is t of n divided by 2? Alright, so let's solve that now. So t of n divided by 2 is equal to 2 times t of n divided by 2 divided by 2 plus 1. Okay? So now, in our second k iteration, our equation t of n will look like this. So t of n is equal to 2 times, and we're going to substitute in for t of n divided by 2, the equation that we just solved. So that is 2 times t of n divided by 2 divided by 2 plus 1. Okay? And then we still have to add on that 1 from up top here. All right. Okay, so this looks good. Let's go ahead and rewrite this equation. So we get 2 squared times t of n divided by 2 divided by 2 is just n divided by 4. But we can also rewrite that as n divided by 2 squared. And then we have plus 2 times 1, so we get 2 here. And then we still have our plus 1. Okay? And I can already see a pattern, so let me rewrite these last two numbers. So instead of 2, we'll have 2 to the power of 1, right? Because it's still equivalent. That's just another way of writing 2. And instead of the number 1, I'm going to put... I'm going to put 2 to the power of 0, right? Because 2 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. And now all of these numbers look very similar, right? So that's what I want because the point of using this iteration technique is to find a pattern so that we can make a general form and then we make a, well, we make a guess for the general form and then we try and figure out the the big O notation for this recurrence relation or the big O answer for this recurrence relation. All right, so that looks good. Now we need to figure out, well, what is T of N divided by two to the power of two? So let's do that. So T of N divided by two squared or two to the power of two is equal to 2 times t of n divided by 2 squared divided by 2 plus 1. Okay? So let's go to our third k iteration, rewrite our equation t of n. And so now we get. 2 squared times, and we're going to make that substitution here. So 2 squared times 2 times t of n divided by 2 squared divided by 2 plus 1. Okay? And then we have plus 2 to the power of 1 plus 2 to the power of 0. Okay, so let's rewrite the equation. So we get 2 to the power of 3 times t of 
n divided by 2 squared divided by 2 is just n divided by 2 cubed, or 2 to the power of 3. And then we have 2 squared plus 1, so that's going to be plus 2 squared. And then we have our 2 to the power of 1 and our 2 to the power of 0. Okay, so already I'm seeing a pattern, so I'm going to make this guess on what the general form is. So for some kth iteration, right? So k could be 5 or 10 or 4. Then our equation t of n is going to be equal to 2 to the k or 2 to the power of k times t of n divided by 2 to the k plus well now if we look at this little pattern here and here and here what we really see is that it's just a summation so this is going to be the summation from i equals 0 to k minus 1 of 2 to the i and it may take a little practice to see things like that so we have this nice summation here and there's a formula for it, so let's go ahead and rewrite this equation to make it look a little better. So we get 2 to the k times t of n divided by 2 to the k plus, so that summation will be equal to 2 to the k minus 1. All right? And I believe the name of the formula, if you want to look it up, but don't quote me on this, is the geometric sum formula. I just use the formula so much I kind of remember it a little bit. All right. So this is our general form. So let's go ahead and go to the next page. And I'm going to rewrite that equation. So we're going to put general form. And our general form was t of n is equal to 2 to the k times t of n divided by 2 to the k. And then we have plus 2 to the k minus 1. All right. Now we need to get our, our equation in terms of n. And so we can do that when our recurrence relation stops. So when does it stop? It stops when our n is equal to 1, right? Because our t would be equal to 1. So what that, that means is that means that we want n to be equal to 1. Or whatever is inside of this parameter to be equal to 1. So let's Let's figure that out. So we have our recurrence relation here. And actually, I'm going to use red for this. We have our recurrence relation there. So this tells us that, that we want t of n divided by 2 to the k to be equal to 1. And how can that happen? That happens when our parameter, everything inside here, is equal to 1. So we want n divided by 2 to the k to be equal to 1. Alright, so now we can solve for n and we can get everything in terms of n. We can get our k in terms of n. Alright, so n is equal to 2 to the k according to this equation here. And then, well what does this mean, right? So now what we can figure out is we can figure out that um, 2 to the k, well, 2 to the k is equal to n. So that means that we can take the log of, of both sides to get k in terms of n. Okay? So this tells us that if I take log base 2 of n, then I get log base 2 of 2 to the k and this tells us that log base 2 of n is equal to k 
All right. So what this means is that anywhere, anywhere we see the value k in our general form, we can now substitute log base 2 of n for k. So let's do that. So I'm going to rewrite the general form. Well, I'm not going to rewrite it again. Let's just go ahead and substitute k with log base 2 of n. So t of n is equal to 2 to the log base 2 of n times t of n divided by 2 to the log base 2 of n plus 2 to the log base 2 of n minus 1. All right. And I know it looks complicated, but this is actually really simple. So now we're just going to get n times t of n divided by n plus n minus 1. And so this gives us n times t of 1 plus n minus 1. And then this gives us n times 1 plus n minus 1 because our base case t of 1 is equal to just 1. And then if we simplify this even more, we just get n plus n minus 1. And so we get 2n minus 1 for our, um, for our answer. All right. Now, what is this in terms of big O? Well, I have a video on it if you want to um, kind of figure out how to solve this. But I'm going to use a different color. This just implies that this recurrence relation is big O of n. And that is our guess. And this big O of n is the, I guess, the tight big O answer, right? Because technically, this equation is also big O of n squared. But anyways, I really hope you all enjoyed this video. I had not uploaded in quite some while, uh, in quite some time. So, anyways... Good to be back and hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next video.